David was fun loving. He was the life of the party. He was the person you went to when you needed a laugh. He was that cool big brother. He was amazing. He was my hero. Hi, Mom. Hi. How are you? How you doing? How are you? Good. Good. It's when David was killed. Immediate rage and anger and frustration and pain and everything came over me. The, the person who did it was arrested the next day. His name was Brian. I wanted the worst for him. Justice meant maximum sentence. Um, I wanted him to feel the pain that my family felt. And I carried it for a very long time. About five years ago, I decided I needed to find some healing. So I reached out to our Department of Corrections to ask if I could do a victim offender dialogue. And they put me in touch with a facilitator who was amazing. I had the opportunity to meet Brian in January of 2019. It was humbling. It was powerful. The first thing I did was hug him. And I know that may seem hard to believe, but it was an instinct. The moment I hugged him, that weight was lifted. So after the dialogue, I remember coming back to work and my coworker said, have you ever heard of something called restorative justice? I did a training. It was an intro to restorative justice. So I learned, you know, the basics and everything. And I was like, wow, that's what I want to do. I've facilitated circles where in the very beginning, someone feels a certain way and you can feel the tension in the room. And then at the end, it's completely different. I converted to Catholicism when I was in my 30s. God has a plan and there's a path he puts us on. I don't think I'd be doing this work without my faith because there are days where it can be challenging. And I have to ask God, could you give me some wisdom? But I do the work because forgiveness is possible. It's not easy. It is a journey. And some days I, I lose that forgiveness and other days it's stronger. If Restorative justice wasn't in my life. I would still be that 19-year-old kid, angry at the world, wanting the worst for people. Restorative justice, to me, feels like finding hope again. <laughs>